Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, spiritual awakening for divine in the flesh, where together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, creating a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures in our true sensual sensorial universe, moving formless into form outside of the matrix in the true quantum field creation field universe where there are actually seven senses. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all setting so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Mario West and I am your hostess of the highest here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you to your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider and wider and and wider, wider still. <laughs> Hello, my love bugs, my honey bunnies, my boobalas. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty, episode 237. Après my big breakup with the Instagram and the IGTV. Okay, I cannot tell you how much of a burden's been lifted off of my shoulders by ending that noise, okay? My endeavors to keep my Sabina alive ultimately released. Now, she started that IG uh, profile just before she passed away in 2018, but alas, bots and trolls and fakes and criminal thievery. Oh my, fuck it, I'm done. Now, at first I was bullying myself and blaming myself for being stupid and careless about being so public, for attracting drama, um, sobbing for days, and finally moving into declaring advantage. The good little transfer for that I am to the seemingly induced transition Election surfing and uh, evolving into acceptance because you know why shit happens mm -hmm. and I am all the better as a human being getting off that social media train wreck that soul sucking energy draining sieve. yeah and to think I was actually enjoying the process of posting literally six times a week oh yeah Yes, six times a week, uploading my replays on some of the videos uh, on the YouTube uh, on IGTV, gaining traction after four fucking years of working it diligently. But you know, when bots and trolls and fakes and criminal plagiarisms, uh, plagiarizers <laughs> are wrecking your shit, you know, enough. Okay, I learned a lot. So, in today's video, my loves, in honor of the upcoming full moon in Libra this Easter Sunday, I am addressing the call to and challenge many of us are facing up to or avoiding <laughs> of relaxing and softening and dialing it down and slowing way the fuck down. Perhaps doing moi nada, being more in our feminine natures of being as opposed to doing and being receptive, being in receptivity and resting instead of the habituated and overly acclaimed and rewarded via ego jerking off masturbation of say going viral, okay, the pushing through and the rallying invariably accompanied by the merciless self-bullying that arises, my loves, when heart, mind, body, soul coordination calls your overly masculinized, exhausted selves and the exhausted, neglected feminine, okay, calling your ass out to stop the madness and rest for fuck's sake. Got it? Trauma 
astrology. Oh man, I am so done with that shit already. And I can appreciate sun-based astrology, but what's lighting me up and inspiring me these days is my review of moon-based astrology, also known as shamanic astrology. And I'll include the link below to the work of my shamanic astrologer and also my only mentor that is still living and breathing, the eternally amazing, youthful, and vibrant Daniel Giamario. I'll have his link below. Okay, so for myself, as a ninth house 27 degree Venus ruled Libra sun. I'm all about love, truth, and beauty and relationships, me, you, us, we, and the love relationship we each have with our various inner selves. Okay. That self-love, self-talk, self-remembrance that quite often floats into self-critique, self-judgment, self-punishment, self-hate. Okay, we all know that one. Then there's my ever-active Capricorn rising. That's right. My fifth house, 17 degree Gemini moon. Uh, my 10th house, Mercury and Neptune in Scorpio. Eighth house, Venus and Pluto in, yes, in Virgo in sun astrology. Okay, now I've been hustling and bustling, driven by my life path numerology of three life paths based on my birthday, 19, the archetype of the sun, 10, the archetype of the wheel of fortune, and one, the magician. Okay, so not sustainable in the overly teched out world of the matrixes, yaya gaga zaza. Okay, you've all heard me talk about the yaya gaga zaza of the matrix. Now, in moon based shamanic astrology, I am rediscovering in my review that my soul tribe is wrapped by my fifth house Gemini moon tribe. Okay, so think and imagine Cirque du Soleil musicians, singers, dancers, acrobats, actors, sounds, beautiful costumes, colors, celebration, merriment, laughter, and self-expression in many, many, many ways. And of course, my life's mission is represented by my Capricorn rising, the systematizing and organizing, leading via example, transforming outdated systems, okay? The matrix-based relationship shit systems, relation shits, okay? Thanks to my seventh house Uranus in Leo opposition to Chiron in Aquarius in the first house, and my eighth house, Venus plus Virgo, Venus plus Pluto in Virgo, not representing virginal relationships, nor trauma-based toxic psychodrama relationships, relationships, but composing the up-leveled reality outside of the matrix of divine sacred partnerships and relationships of the heart-based new humanity, resulting from waking up and seeing ourselves, seeing reality, exiting the matrix, entering into our awareness center, okay, in the true quantum field creation field universe, having done the great work of deactivating trauma and exiting the matrix and choosing, composing reality, the optimal environment that assists in completing my life's mission as represented by my ninth house Libra Sun, which translates to making sure that my physical environment and my personal environment in and out of technology are free from drama, toxic energies and intrusions and chaos, shit shows that can well be avoided, that my environment is filled only with beauty and love and truth and color and grace and harmony. Now, discovering these aspects again through my review of shamanic astrology has been a great 
game changer and an affirmation of my big breakup with the Instagram and the IGTV. And given the work that I do, as opposed to what I allowed in my personal space, in my technological space, through my uber caretaking and dysfunctionality of other people's dramas and being way, way too open, hence my reclusiveness and disdain for people's bullshit clients and students being the exception and my very, very few friends in my inner circle. Now, Capricorn can represent the uber masculine, daddy, patriarchal, authority, parenting. Okay, we're all doing reparenting. We're remothering ourselves. We are re-fathering ourselves. And in my case, my harsh inner parenting that can be dictatorial and results oriented. <laughs> chop, chop, Missy. Get on with it. So demands my inner masculine at times. It's usually when my inner feminine is overriding her authority and riding his ass. Okay. And they are all neglecting their need for rest and for writing down these creative ideas as opposed to spewing them out and demanding that they materialize ASAP. So my invitation to you all, my loves, okay, let's stop shooting. Let's stop shitting on ourselves and relax into beauty and uh, the uncertainty of change. Now, Libra represents love, truth, and beauty. We need not force anything to happen at this time. And those of us who are awake enough to be paying attention to the ever-shifting requirements to support our well-being, the cosmos supports us and our inner journey. Now, entirely on the contrary to trauma pup astrology, this trine with Saturn in Aquarius may be about freedom from constriction constriction and the have to's and the perfectionism and lean toward resting and pausing to transurf the scripts that we blindly automatically follow okay into illness and disrepair and depression and despair and exhaustion and allowing our respective layers of the universe to handle the details Okay, where things can actually fall away naturally without anything of our doing, any of our doing, and to open to new inspiration and new ways. And perhaps the upcoming square with Pluto in Capricorn can reframe the drama, trauma, transformation, oy vey, and maybe squares can be reframed and can be invitations to receive a deep breath and surrender and let go rather than gaslight our intuitive sense to float into something more easeful and soft and nurturing and rather and rather than continue the usual self abuse and self bullying of choosing the tactics of lighting a fire under our tired asses incinerating, burning through this unnaturally forced motivation of this so in the matrix self-abuse to push and go into overdrive, douse ourselves in petrol to set ourselves on fire for more trials by fire typified by trauma astrology and the cardinal sign Aries season that we are in currently, demanding that we get our shit together and get shit done. Okay, I, I don't know about you, but I'm over that fucking shit, okay? And so perhaps this full moon in Libra at 26 degrees opposing the sun in Aries is asking us to stand down from our warring divisiveness and defaults in order to mellow out, stop battling, and empower through softness, through rest, choosing ease, beauty, grace, harmony, self-love, truth, okay? 
committing to self-respect and self-love and compassion and empathy minus the control and the gripping and the clenching and holding on tight so we make shit happen god damn it okay defaulting into the directive of the already exhausted and perhaps emasculated masculine letting go of all those notions of having to have it all together and having figured everything out I want you all to magnify your pleasure, magnify ease, man magnify rest, immerse yourself, embody that, savor the rest and the relaxation. Notice the beauty surrounding you. Rest, luxuriate in, say, a lovely bath, and uh, love yourself and love your beloveds. As Abraham says through Esther Hicks, we're not meant to get it all done ever anyway. So relax, my loves. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy your body. Enjoy your sensual life. Perhaps rediscover what that is for you. Okay, my loves, that is my speech. I hope this is helpful, valuable, and insightful, my darlings. Please help me grow this channel by giving this video a thumbs up, big likes, and leave a comment in the comments box below or in private. Please share this video with your communities, friends, and family members, and perhaps on social media platforms. If it would benefit from my content material, please hit the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell, selecting the all settings so that when I upload videos, that YouTube will let you know. And if you find value, enjoy, benefit, or at least entertain from my videos, buy my videos, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation? My PayPal link is below, as is my coffee link to buy me the proverbial cup of coffee if that feels inspiring for you. I thank you all so much for hanging out with me with your participation and focus attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this without you and I also do this for you knowing you are so much more than what the matrix tries to define you to be. So until next time my loves always act from love outside of the matrix from your center screen, composing a new reality by quantum jumping. That's right. Let's up level going higher and higher and higher and higher to our higher lifeline so that we can all be the love that we are. We can share our love. We can uh, create, make art, make music, make love. And you can all help me repopulate the true quantum field creation field universe. Here's to love, truth, and beauty, my beautiful waking gods and goddesses. Mwah!